Episode 6 is my favorite. It's my favorite of all the episodes of the entire series. It's so powerful. Uh, Gihon, I realized, really genuinely, genuinely cared for the old man. Whether he was expressing something that he couldn't express to his, to his mother, I don't know. But he really genuinely um, cared for the old man. And I think the old man actually felt that. He kind of felt that in, and is appreciating and is enjoying it. He's enjoying the care. He's appreciating the care that Gihun is actually extending to him. There was this moment, so the Ganbu game started and they were asked to come in pairs. And there was this moment when um, Sebyok actually stood up to leave. And Gihun asked him where she was going. And she stopped and said, why do you want a girl as a partner? And there was a moment when I doubted whether she was being sarcastic, like what do you care, or she was hoping that Gihun would actually choose her. Because remember, she did him a favor that night, that evening, uh, when she gave him uh, her water. But so there was like um, just a, a split second of disappointment in her eyes when she, when Gihun did not respond and she just walked off great actress <laughs> she's such a great actress and let's also note that this is the very first um game after you, the, the this is the very first game where they actually they directly kill somebody one on one the the previous game the tug of war that's when they um became the cause of the death of a group of people but they're they are a group of people versus a group of people but this is the game with where they actually played one on one and actually killed another person so th directly the blood of the other person is on their hands and there was a moment there when song Wu exploded so ali and so ended up being together and um ali actually ended up winning the game and so we just exploded and said accused Ali of cheating and stuff and very very interesting to see his reaction at a, towards the guy that he has chosen um I think I think Song Wu actually uses Ali to maintain a certain amount of humanity in him and to see a certain amount of human humanity in the world. He used he was using Ali to to do that, to see the humanity in the world and to see the humanity in himself. Second is that he's using Ali to sort of nurture his ego. He, he with Ali is able to take care of Ali. Um again, versus the whole the the situation he's gotten himself into where he can take care of anybody or anything so but with Ali is able so he's able to reinforce that superior status that he used to have with Ali so he was using Ali and then Ali um his his um his sire uh, sorry his uh his younger brother is now he has beaten him in the game and so he couldn't so it was interesting when he exploded uh, because you then see a glimpse of of what Song Wu remains to be, and that's a desperate man. Um, he may have cared for Ali in one, air, one way or another, but the core of him is a desperate man. I also like seeing the two girls bonding just because it was so natural, so sincere, and so honest. I can actually feel that they like each other, that they were starting to see. They're both very cold people. They're very unbothered. <laughs> They're very indifferent about everything else. But in that moment, you can see how they were starting to care for themselves and not end and of each other. They're starting to see a glimpse of the softness that they have. Not because they're girls, but they're because they're humans. So I, I love that scene. And then um, the the old man's wager are always big. He would like wager five marbles or four marbles. It was always big, which is a sign of, of, of addicts. That's the one thing that he has in common with Ali. They're both addicts. Um, then, uh, sorry, with Gihun. That's the one thing that the old man had with Gihun. When Song Wu was, um, was cheating, when he was trying to set up Ali, um, to get Ali to give him another chance to play the game so that the both of them will survive. 
I felt like Ali sort of had a clue. He kind of felt like, wait a minute, he's tricking me into it. But there was a moment there. So when he, when Soho was trying to talk Ali into not, um, not claiming the victory, there was a moment when you could see Ali was like, this is a lie. Like this is he's telling a lie. But then you hear a gunshot. They hear a gunshot, and it was just right be beside them, and it, it it sort of pushes Ali to believe in the lie. He knew he was believing in a lie, but because of that gunshot, seeing a man die um, right beside them kind of changes the way you think. So it just pushed him to believe. He it made him choose to believe in the lie, even though he, he knew it was a lie. So that was that was a great scene. There was another moment there with Jiyoung and Sebyok when Jiyoung was telling his story, her story about her father and, and Jiyoung said that um, he was too much. It was too much even for God. Oh my God, that was so powerful. That was such a great, great line for somebody to come into that conclusion. The kind of pain that she felt for her to say it was too much even for God because just for everybody else you would always think like hey it's not it's too much for me but god god can do anything god can handle it but for her to say that for her to believe that it was too much even for god oh my gosh what kind of pain did you go through so that was just that is example of great great writing and great acting because with one line i was just able to understand her fully I was fully able to understand her pain, her attitude, and how she became who she was at that moment. Um, it could be probably, it would probably end up in my top top three moments in that in that series. Uh, I would love to see more of her projects. And and I think the reason she decided to do what she did. I'm trying to hold back on too much of that. I don't know if it even makes sense. You're supposed to be watching this only if you've already seen the series. So she couldn't, she she couldn't, when she told her story to Sebyok, one thing I realized is that she wasn't able to save anybody. She wasn't able to save her mom, she wasn't able to save her dad, and she wasn't able to save herself. And this was that moment, that moment, this was a chance. This was a chance for her to save something and somebody and it came in the form of a new friend she just met and she just started caring for um, powerful she's a powerful powerful character especially when she said that line last line to Sebyok before Sebyok walked away and before she was shot in the head um, the other thing is Gihun and the old man when when the old man uh, forgot supposedly forgot what what was what was his what was his answer at first he gihun sort of took a moment to realize that hey i can cheat <laughs> i can cheat and save myself but as it progresses it became easier and easier for him to cheat and that's just how it is for people like sometimes it's difficult for us to do something but once we do it becomes easier like that's why so many people like that's that's why men start habitually cheating at first it's like oh i'm guilty i don't want to cheat or just anybody not just men women whoever it, it at first you don't want to do it but once you start doing it, it becomes easier and easier and easier and that's that's how it is for addicts you do drugs once and you kind of huh, i don't know if this is for me you start doing it it feels good it's beneficiary to you you start doing it habitually so it's a perfect scene to encapsulate what addiction really is to um to uh describe to describe what addiction really is so the other scene the next is that when Gu, so uh gihun and the old man the old man already uh, had one marble left so gihun had 19 after cheating his way into the game into win winning and then when the old man revealed that he had one more marble left and then he went crazy again Gihun was so desperate and he was saying come on sh shake snap out of it we need to play one more game and the man offered the old man offered something and he said 
yung pinong. Let's do a winner takes all kind of game. And then Gihon blew up. Like, why would I even do that? I have 19 marbles and you have one. Why would I even wager all of the ones that I have? And that's when the, the man revealed <laughs> that he knew what was happening all along. And, and I feel like, I feel like that was when the man, of course, the old man decided he was going to give his marbles to, to Gihon. I felt like he, the man actually also truly cared for Gihon at that moment because he had cancer, he was going to die anyway, and he wanted Gihon to survive because Gihon had more to it had more to life had more to look forward to in life than he did because he was really dying so um i think he did it because he really truly cared for him i think had it been had he been partnered with somebody he didn't care for he wouldn't have allowed um that other person to win but because it was gihon he gave way and i guess the main message of this is that really in the brink of death we really just want love and we really just want something positive and we really just want th that assurance that we want that we will be able to leave behind a legacy uh, that we will be able to love somebody or do good towards somebody um i remember i think it was the 9 11 incident when somebody mentioned that when they so during the 9 11 incident when the plane was going down they many of the passengers actually made a call on their phones and majority of the phone calls they were made to the people that those passengers love and they just wanted to tell them i love you i love you don't forget that and you know it's just in the moment of death you forget about everything else and you just want to make sure that you leave behind a legacy and it's that man sort of um proved that with what he did he just wanted to do something good towards his friend and Gihon has always cared for him from the beginning um, so he wanted to do that and he was gonna die anyway and he wanted to do that for Gihon and the same thing with Jiyong he she failed in so many parts of her life but this is the one time she can actually leave a legacy she can actually care for someone she can actually do something good for someone and she did that so and that also shows you just how um just how flawed of a character song is because um, in the end instead of giving something to ali he cheated just so he could survive and also be home <laughs> but yeah just uh it's my my favorite favorite uh episode of the series on to episode seven <laughs> 